What's up guys and welcome, it's in front of Kun here with the Walking Dead Season 3 discussion. Now characters, they come and go, some stay gone, some come back, <laughs> Kenny. Anyways, I want to discuss the fact that what if there could be more familiar faces in Season 3 this time around, maybe having a lot of characters that we didn't really see for a long time. So I'm going to discuss some characters that I think that could come into Season 3 if it happens. And then some that probably won't because of some reason. But anyways, let's start off with number one. We're going to Lily. We haven't seen Lily since season one, episode three. It has been a long time. And people are wondering, where is Lily? She could come back and she probably isn't dead because of her military training. And probably her survival skills are pretty on point too. So Lily, she could probably be in Wellington. That's what I would think she would be because she would have made somewhere safe because she obviously is pretty smart and she's pretty resourceful. So she would not have a problem making it to a safe place such as Wellington. Now, if we were to see her, you know, how would you guys react? I mean, Lily, we had our differences. That was kind of like a long time ago. She killed Carly and I left her inside the road. So I wouldn't really, you know, still hold out against her. She was a pretty awesome character, for real. I didn't really like her too much, but she was a good character. And I would would not mind seeing her again because she was a nice person, the Clementine. Now, for the most part, Lily, she had some problems with, you know, leadership and everything else. So, becoming a leader is something that she's probably good at. Now, Wellington being as big as it is, probably she's probably someone who's, like, in charge. Someone that's in charge of something there. Probably, you know, person who gets food for everybody. That would be kind of a good role for her as being a, you know, military member or something like that. So I would not mind seeing Lily again. She was a pretty awesome character for the most part. And we had differences in the past, but I could put that aside for the future of Season 3. But let's move on to another character that we lost or we didn't really get to have a... We had closure, but we didn't have a complete closure. She probably could come back, and that is Molly. The scavenger that was in Savannah in Season 1, Episode 4, and she left the same episode. Now, Molly, people compare her to Jane, but being more of a bit lighter tone and more, you know, laid back and a bit too, you know, she got attitude sometimes. But anyways, Molly was a pretty cool character. Telltale introduced her as kind of a character who's like by herself, can kick some walker ass, and she was pretty much an awesome character. And she didn't really have any problems with anybody in the group, really. And she was, like, kind of the person who would speak up when plans would get too out of control or something like that. So she was a bit loud-mouthed. She was a bit smart-mouthed, too. And she was, overall, a pretty interesting character. And she left in Season 4, had closure with everybody, and would well, well, just leave, really. And left after that. Now... If you, in Car, not a Carver, in Crawford, you can actually, you know, get her shot. You can shoot her. If you don't bring, if you don't bring Clementine, you can end up, you know, shooting her on accident and she will have to run off. She doesn't get bit, but she runs off, which means that she's probably just, you know, gone. And you don't have closure with her at the end of episode four. You just have, you know... She just goes off. You don't see her anymore. So, obviously, she's still out there. She didn't get bit. She's probably still okay. I mean, she can easily go ahead and tend to her wound and everything else. So, definitely, I would think that Molly would definitely come back in Season 3 if Telltale wanted her to. Now, for the most part, it wouldn't be awesome if we just saw all the old characters in Wellington and just have them there. That would be too good to be true. But let's move on to one that has been talked about a lot. Which is Krista. We lost her at the beginning of season one. Well, not season one. Season two, episode one. We lost her to the scavengers that came and attacked Clementine and Krista. And we haven't seen her since. There have been many theories about where she could be. She obviously heard the rumor about Wellington. And she probably could have escaped if she didn't die because of those scavengers. But you know, Krista has been there for Clementine for a long time, caring for her and everything else, and it would be amazing to have her back. She was kind of like Kenny. She had a big heart for family or people she cared about, like she cared about Omid, and Kenny cared about, you know, his family. So, definitely Krista was kind of like Kenny in a way, having a huge heart for their loved ones, and Clementine being the only one she has left, 
that was what she was doing, taking care of her, making sure she's okay, making sure she can actually survive and live on her own. And she did that for 16 months. Just kept her alive for that whole time. And now we lost her. Kind of like a mom figure in a way. And now she's just gone. Haven't seen her since. No word of her. Nobody's seen her. She isn't in Wellington from what Edith said. And it's pretty much not looking too good for Krista right now. Where could she be? Why isn't she in Wellington? Is she dead? She could be because, you know, she was so dead set on making her way to Wellington and we have confirmation that she isn't there. So maybe she could show up later. Maybe she's somewhere else safe. I'm not sure. We probably could see her in season three because Telltale said sometimes we don't see people that we wish we could. Sometimes we lost and we haven't really, like heard anything about Krista in a long time. So I'm kind of worried about that because, you know, I mean, yeah, we can't have everyone we want who was in the past, like, really. We can't have everyone, so I would be kind of, like, sad because, always, obviously, we were sad when we lost her and we haven't really seen her from ever since episode one of season two, so we're kind of pretty much so dead set on wanting her back that we kind of lose focus on what happened to her or what could happen to her. But anyways, enough of that. Let's go on. To the next group of characters, which are a lot. The 400 Days group, which we last saw in Season 2, Episode 3, for like a split second, and then they're gone. They're all gone. They are all gone. Okay, we have Shell, Vince, Wyatt, Russell, Nate, Eddie, Becca, and Tavia. So, they all are gone. They haven't really seen them. We saw Eddie in the slide for Season 2, Episode 4. But that did not matter, and we saw pretty much everyone else except Nate in Episode 3. So, these characters were just awesome. I liked Vince the most because he was my favorite out of the group. And I would love to have them back. Like, when I saw them in Season 3, not Season 3, oh my god. When I saw them in Episode 3, I was so happy to see them. But then they were with Carver, and I was like, facepalm, why? But it will be awesome to have them back in, you know, Season 3. You know, these characters, like, they were DLC characters. They did not actually matter in Season 2 like Telltale said they would. Maybe they can actually show up in Season 3, have more of an impact like Telltale wanted, and we can go from there. Like Telltale, you can't just leave the characters hanging. We haven't really had them show up at all, barely, in Season 2. They haven't done anything, barely said anything, and... We're just having, like, wondering, like, when are they going to show up? Why did we buy this DLC if it was for, like, a one-time thing? You said it would matter on Facebook, and it did not matter at all. So, enough of that. I ranted too long on these in previous videos. But, hey, I would love to have these characters back. Wouldn't you guys love to have the 400 Days characters back? I would love to. They were, like, such a distinct group of characters. We had Vince, who was kind of like a... I would say a, you know, tough leader guy. We had Shale, who was a loving, caring about Becca. We had Becca, who was a bitch. Then we had Wyatt, who was kind of like a funny... No, Wyatt and Eddie, who were just these funny people. They were so funny. They were awesome. And we had Russell, who was like a family guy. Then we had Nate, who was a lunatic. A pretty awesome lunatic. And that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, Tavia, who was like... No, forget her. She can die. Anyways... Pretty awesome characters. I would love to see them come back. Now, here are some honorable mentions for Season 3. We have Victor, who was one of these scavengers that we gave water to in Season 2, Episode 1. I don't see him coming back because obviously he was at a, a, what's called a lake, a river, lake, river, 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 that was occupied with a bunch of walkers. So yeah, you're dead. Ralph, who has been gone forever, haven't really seen him too much. Then we'll saw him episode one, of course, and then we have Chet, 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 who was that determinant guy in season one. I don't see him coming back at all because why? Then we have people who want Herschel back. I don't think he's coming back because of reasons. And then we have Glenn, who obviously isn't coming back because of comic book reasons. So you can go ahead and look more into that. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, leave a thumbs up and also comment down below what you think about the characters coming back into Season 3. If it continues the story of having Clementine 
or either having the 400 days characters or probably one of your characters you play as and having them show up in season three have more familiar faces there because isn't it awesome to be like you know have people you know there like you know them like hey this guy is molly she's pretty awesome i liked her or then you have tavia over here you're like hey i didn't like tavia i hate her so much but then you have a new guy you're like hmm i just met you i haven't really been around you too long i gotta form an opinion on you for a few hours to see how how you are and then you have kenny over here and you're like oh my god kenny till i die you've been here forever i know how you are so yeah you can form your opinions on a new character. It takes a while, but then you have old characters you already know. You already have an opinion on them, so you can go ahead and form your... Well, stay with them or not like them. So, I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you guys for watching. In the out.